Well, it is the first shed hunt of the year. We're heading out. I'm picking up my buddy Nino, and we are going out to check the cameras and hopefully find some sheds. Yeah, I'm not thinking any browns are going to be dropping uh, or found, but I do know people have been finding them uh, or have been seeing bucks in the area without antlers. So it is always a possibility, but should be a fun day. Looks like it could be a wet day. Getting kind of a late start, but we'll get out there and have some fun. Hopefully we've got something to show you. Hi, Nino. Hi, Nino. So we're somewhat up the hill, about, about a half mile, mile, almost to the top. We're going to take a little detour. Hopefully we can find something. Nino, Nino has a, Nino has a, <laughs> Nino has an idea. We'll see how it pans out. We'll let you know. You heard it here first. It was a stick. <laughs> Nothing, nothing more than the stick going on here. Look, like a shed. We have taken some different routes and come up with another big goose egg. But there's a bunch of snow on the ground too. So there's snow on the ground. This is not the most optimum time to be shed. Well, it's a pretty day. Pretty fun. Nothing yet. I got a bit to the cameras, but uh, seeing some good sign, good beds. So maybe in a week, a few weeks, come back up again. Not giving up yet, though. See what's on the game cameras. Game cameras, the pictures will probably tell us a little bit better story. But having fun. We want to check out some new area, uh, so we'll see if I get out and actually check it out. But I want some area that I can I can try to look for some antlers that's in a different spot, um, maybe not so hard to get to, and a little easier for my kids and stuff to run around in. Hopefully, this will be a place, and maybe I'll find a shed. We'll see. But I hope everybody's day's going good. two buddies. Hey, Isaac and Titus, say hi. 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 And we put up a trail camera. Hi. We found the first shed of 2020. Although I don't know if you can consider a broken antler a shed but it is the first horn antler antler piece that we've found so i consider it the first shed antler 2020 and hopefully either tomorrow or the next day i will be going out again in and checking the way back camera see if I can come up with that spike that dropped his antler right there on the other side of that log but yeah first one for 2020 boys were here with me tried to get them to look look for it but they're not quite there yet anyways fun stuff
Well, we're gonna be headed up, see if we can't find those spike antler sheds. Um, I'll show you those right here. Um, and uh, we will um, hopefully find more. I hopefully we'll make it into a new area, although one of my wife's friends is uh, maybe going into labor today or tomorrow. So if I get a phone call, I'll be headed back out no matter where I'm at. So see how that goes. Hope everybody's day is going good. Well, I am moving pretty good. Switched into my hoodie. Dropped down the backside. It's gonna be a little chillier over there. Moving a little slower. Um, it's a nice day. 42 right now. So, gonna be cool in the shade. But, we're on a good, good Good run, got a good feel for the day. Um, no phone calls, so still good to go on the baby front. So, on to the next one. Hopefully, the next time you see me, we will have a shed or an animal to look at. All right, we're getting there, ready to walk in. See if we have some. Yeah, there's little spike antlers on the ground or not. And uh, tooth will be told to us here shortly. So we got a video tape what we find. Alright. See what we got. for the investigation because it couldn't be this that easy that they're just lying on the ground of course maybe a squirrel ran off with them while they flew <clears throat> what I've come to the conclusion of is there was a lot of rabbit activity over there a couple squirrels but a lot of rabbits can't say for sure And maybe I just don't know what I was looking at in those pictures, but I'm pretty sure those antlers fell off over there. It's hard to go from brown to white without something happening. But there was a lot of rabbit activity over there, and those antlers weren't that big. So, that's a bummer. Thank you.